All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? So, Spontaneous David and Adri, little hint, we are here at Coburg Beach. We've been here before. I'll put the little vlog card wherever. So, the reason we're back here, A, we want to go to beach, but two, we're gonna get a vlog tutorial on sunny day beach photography, whatever name you wanna give it, because this is something that's really popular. Like, I've seen already, like, you know, 15 people take photos, and it can be tricky, you know, shooting at a beach with, like, direct sunlight. So, vlog tutorial, tips, tricks, all that stuff. Adri, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's get it going. And all right, dude, so the first thing what we're doing is the most popular photo, okay? This is what, really, when you think of beach photography, it's what you do, and that's to take portraits kind of in the water, right on the beach, right? So what we're gonna do is Adrian and I, right behind me, we're gonna go about half in the water, get some portraits, really give tips on utilizing light, shadows, everything. Keep in mind, guys, it's around three o'clock right now. So, let's go. Woo. So guys, as we were walking in, my first tip is going to be that, Try, if you can, the first thing to shoot a little bit later in the day. So opposed to 12 o'clock, the sun being directly up. Maybe wait till one, two, three o'clock. Let the sun, if you can, just get a little bit lower so it's gonna create a bit more of a glow, right? A bit more of a nice, appealing, soft look. You can see the lights more in this space and there's a bit more shadows here, right? This is around 3.30. You can see that would be 12. The sun's about right there, 3.30. That's step one. Come on, Adre! All right, guys, so we have Adrian right here. The first thing that we're gonna do is position her in a way where we have the light hitting her. So the sun is a bit lower. We're gonna have the light directing on her, right? We're gonna, you can mix around with it, front lit, back lit. We're gonna do front lit, get some portraits up now. And all right, guys, hope you dig those little photos. So, the game plan, the tips is what we did is I shot the portraits of Adri using the sun lighting her up, okay, opposed to the back. Usually what that's gonna do is when the sun's in front of you, it's gonna light your face, right? Your face is your main subject. Usually it's what you wanna look at. Opposed to turning around, now, if I shot Adri from, as an example, if I shot Adri from here, from this angle with the sun behind her back lighting her, that can look dope, but it is trickier to do. Nailing that exposure is much harder. So I'm gonna take a couple just to show you. And there, just put those photos up on screen. So, they can work. I'm not telling you guys not to do them, but I'm letting you know that when the sun's backlighting your subject, nailing the exposure is going to be harder. Generally, it's gonna be harder. So for that reason, try to have the sun hitting you, okay? That's why I said for tip one, try to let that sun go, you know, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Let it go a bit later, opposed to being directly in the sky, okay? All right, so portrait's done. We're gonna get some of me and then talk about GoPro, all right? Actual uh, photography under the water. And all right, guys, so uh, what happened was lied there on the uh, the towel for about half an hour, let the sun get a bit lower, maybe got a little bit of a tan, I don't know if you can tell, maybe not, but anyways, now, with beach photography, part of that is being on the beach, so we are now here, we're just gonna, with our camera, whether it's an iPhone, DSLR, mirrorless, just go around, get some nice landscape shots, I have my zoom lens, maybe get some zoom shots of people and whatnot, so uh, let's go around and uh, really just play it by ear. And okay guys, um, so I will put up the photos as we uh, as I overlay this, but um, the main thing, now I had a zoom lens and for this whole really 10 minutes I just used the zoom lens. With the beach guys, there's actually a lot of stuff that's naturally happening around you. What does that be? People swimming in the water, um, you know, just casually. Um, get a zoom shot of them, you know, is it weird? Well, it can be, but like, just like a lifestyle shot of them, you know, tons of people out there you can see. You know, people out there in the distance, people out there. Um, another big thing guys are seagulls, right? Use like the natural animals around you. So seagulls are known for a beach. Like when you think of a beach, you think of seagulls. So tons of them, look at them, they're all chilling, right? Tons of them. And I'm saying this because you, what if you're not with someone? Like the first half of this video, it was with someone, with a friend, um, you know? But if you're by yourself, shoot people, lifestyle, shoot the animals, shoot seagulls. Now I'm gonna try to uh, maybe get a couple wide shots. It's a little trickier. But uh, before we wrap this up, I wanna get the drone up and get some aerial shots, so we'll see in the next clip. And okay guys, so back here, got some photos of Adri. Again, lifestyle shots, portraits, back on the beach. Now we're gonna get the drone up. I know a lot of you guys probably don't have a drone, but if you do, it's really dope. As the sun's a bit later, ugh, a bit lower down, you can get some sick aerials. Just looking down at the waves of the people. It's just, it's, it's a really interesting perspective when you have all these people, animals, whatever, just scattered out on this beach, getting this nice top-down shot. So, drone shots, let's go.
guys, that was the B-roll clip. Um, really just straight happy with it. What I did, um, as a tip, if you guys do have a drone, is I put a polarizer filter on it, right? So there are ND filters which are great for the light, which would have helped, but even better was a polarizer. And I say that because polarizing filters really cut through the glare of water. So obviously there's a lot of reflection and glare from the water with the sun hitting it, right? As you guys can see, just a lot of the sun bouncing off. So the polarizer was able to uh, almost like negate that, almost take away that glare. So you, uh, the water just looked much more clear, more uh, almost more soft, more like soothing. Like it just, the video man, the bureau clip, I was amped with. I hope you guys digged it. And the shots, man, dope. The uh, tips I would give with the drone uh, beach photography, guys, is really mix it up. Shoot high. Shoot high looking completely down. Um, don't neglect the low shots, though. So I was also low right over people. Get shots on the beach and over the water. Like mix it up. Just... Uh, like completely change it up and just get as creative as you want. But uh, that's it guys. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, the video, this whole vlog tutorial on sunny day beach photography. I hope you guys stayed and hope you guys were able to take a tip or two. It's a dope thing, man, but it can be very tricky because the sun is so harsh. So uh, yeah, rewatch the video if you uh, maybe forgot a tip or whatnot. And yeah, comment down below if you guys have any questions. Maybe I didn't clarify something enough. But that is it, or thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. If you guys dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Um, all that good stuff, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Peace.